Good morning. It's um, Friday, 17th of July. I'm underneath the main magazine on top of the island again because I need to um, redo a shot from yesterday. So I'll do that and then we'll start the last part of the video. So I'm at the bottom of the infill at uh, the southern end of the uh, second tunnel or eastern gallery. So just going to go up the top there and um, give you a better look at, at the arch round the corner. There's the arch of the tunnel I'm actually in. And then if you look down there, just above the main um, spotlight, you can see that um, other archway offset. There's probably some dodgy ordnance or, or something behind there, if there is anything, of course. Right, now get back and start part three. This is uh, where my torch uh, really died on me yesterday. Just come up the tunnel, the first tunnel, turn round, and there's the second drawbridge. Counterweight, counterweight, and the ramp leading outside. So, as I said at the end of uh, part two, this is, um, I'm standing, well, I'm standing more or less on the edge of the detached bastion. And that's the beginning of the North Centre Bastion proper over there. In between there's a, this covered walkway, um, which is at the uh, western end of the hanging moat. Um, this is the third drawbridge, partially excavated um, pit beneath it. Um, that wall there apparently was um, put up during the Second World War. Um, the counterweights for this drawbridge. Are hidden in there. They're vertically upright so you can't see them from this angle. And in there. Um, we're in the north centre bastion proper now. And... Uh, for some reason, locals call that place uh, the Devil's Tunnel, um, but we're going to go in there second because all the tunnels um, eventually are dead ends. It's the journey, not the destination, so to speak. And I'm going to go up here. Um, this is a short gallery. You can see some steps at the end there. I'm going to turn the uh, switch off now because um, I'm not totally confident about this torch holding its charge. I'm at the top of the uh, first um, flight of steps you saw uh, in the last clip, and there's a short gallery going down there. Um, just go down the steps. And though well, it's not so much blocked off, that's just um, rubbish being piled there. Uh, uh, these firing slits face uh, down the moat running down the west side of the detached bastion. So that's what this gallery is for. Oops, butter feet. And there's a huge slab of masonry which has somehow made its way here. Right, so we go back and have a look at the stairs. Um, these steps used to come out uh, near what is now a playing field on top of the Western Heights. As you can see, it's been blocked off, so there's little point in going up there. Bottom up here anyway, and that's the view looking, uh, looking down. So I'm going to uh, go back now to the junction with um, uh, the Devil's Tunnel. One of the local inhabitants, a cave spider. Um, it's fatigue making my hand shake, honest. Here we are at the beginning of the uh, Devil's Tunnel, which runs for 100 yards um, down the far side of the hanging moat. First 95 yards are perfectly okay. So as um, all these arches are more or less the same, uh, I'll switch off now until we get to uh, near to the end. Okay, this is the last few yards of the uh, Devil's Tunnel, and you can see the problem is there's been a um, 
a cave in at some point, quite a while ago. Um, it looks, from the slight slope, you'd sort of imagine the earth has come from the right hand side, but in actual fact it's come from um, directly above the tunnel in that section. Um, just gave way and then um, found a route down the side and filled it up here. There you go, you can see um, where it's come from and the brickwork there, just move the beam off a bit, is the inside of the outer moat wall. Right, so I'm on the far side of the um, cave in now and I'm just going to turn around and go down that, that short tunnel there. Now walking into um, the first of three gun rooms um, which point down uh, the moat uh, directly towards the um, north entrance. And over this side um, another mini magazine. Ah, ventilation. So, I thought you'd hold it up rather well, better than I hoped. Oh no, look at that. Me in my mouth. Okay, um, this is the second. Uh, Oh look, pigeon. I won't scare it, I'll just uh, move on. Another set of stairs um, going up. They turn right and go up some more. Um, I really won't go up those, um, especially as my torch is uh, starting to fade. So I'm just to the left of those stairs going down this short tunnel here. Um, another mini magazine, air books again. Similar to the one in the Caponia. Now well, we're very nearly coming to the end, but there is a subtunnel system along there. I'll come back to that in a minute. I've just come down that, that way, that's about, uh, I'm about 20 yards away from that um, subsystem um, I showed you, and this really is the end of the tunnels. Um, again, this tunnel is pointing in the same direction as the gun rooms, directly towards the uh, north entrance. Um, so I'll go back and climb up onto that uh, small tunnel. Here I am back at the uh, small sub-tunnel. And if my torch seems magically brighter, it's because it's, because it's now uh, Sunday the 19th of July, about 9 o'clock in the morning, and I haven't had breakfast yet, and I've come back to shoot the last minute of the video. Uh, once I get into the sub-tunnel, the first thing I'm going to do is have a look down that passage there. As you can see, the passage is only a few feet long, and at the end, there's a well. And... Uh, I would guess that's maybe 12, 15 feet deep. Okay, back into the subtunnel. So just walk along to the end. This tunnel was built for dwarves and small giants, a bit crouched over. And here we are. What apparently is the second well. Full of bits and pieces, but nothing interesting like gold sovereigns or bodies. Now, directly above my head is the last shot of this video of um, the North Centre Bastion. You can see you're at the bottom of a cat shaft. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. See you again. Bye.